What's going on people, Jada Black here back with another video. I did not really know what direction to go from this particular topic, but I wanna start making content on some of my favorite sports figures who, or some people who I was fans of early in their careers who careers don't pan out because of something they did or issues they may have had. There's a couple of different guys. Um, Josh Gordon is one of them. Okay, Josh Gordon is a very talented football player. Just to give you some background, uh, Josh Gordon, he is 27 years old. He is from Houston, Texas, played at Baylor University. Then he ended up leaving the team to go to University of Utah where he didn't even play. He ended up going second round in supplemental NFL draft right before the start of training camp. And don't quote me on this, but I believe he said, if I'm not mistaken, that when he was at Baylor, I don't know if it was weekly or monthly. He said he was making at least 10 grand, I believe monthly or weekly. It might've been monthly selling weed. And that sums up Josh Gordon, a guy who is as talented as he is, got to college, on his way to go to the NFL, even though he had issues at Baylor, ended up leaving, still got drafted second round of supplemental draft to go to the Cleveland Browns. But he's a guy who makes mistakes when he really doesn't have to. And in and, and this situation, new situation now encompasses his whole career. His whole career with Cleveland. Now I can understand, you know, him playing in Cleveland and him losing focus. And him ended up having, you know, issues being able to stay focused on the field. But this guy has missed a lot of football because of the decisions that he made. No matter how talented he is, he's six foot three, two hundred and twenty-five pounds. Okay, he's a very quick, you know, talented receiver. But mentally, he's not there. Mentally, there's something wrong in that particular situation with Josh Gordon. Now, these are just a list of issues that he had um, into his NFL career, okay? 2012, was drafted in the second round of the 2012 supplemental draft by the Cleveland Browns. His NFL career got off to a really hot start. He caught 50 passes for 100, no 100, for 805 yards and five touchdowns as a rookie. 2013, before the season in June, the NFL suspended Gordon for the first two games of the 2013 season for violating the NFL substance abuse policy. In just 14 games, Gordon led the league with 1,600 yards and 87 receptions with nine touchdowns to have his first Pro Bowl in his second season, even though he was suspended for a couple of games. In 2014, he had two more suspensions. Okay, this is according to USA Today. Gordon was arrested for driving while impaired in North Carolina over the summer before the season began, leading to another suspension for violating the league's substance abuse policy. The original length was for a full season, but in September, it was reduced to 10 games amidst the NFL's new drug policy. The Browns then suspended Gordon for the final game of the season for violating team rules in December, exactly one year after he was selected to the Pro Bowl. 2015-2016, zero NFL games. Gordon was suspended for the entire 2015 season for another violation of NFL substance abuse policy. He entered the league's substance abuse program and wasn't allowed to return to the game until the start of the 2016 season. After reports of a yet another failed drug test, Gordon's reinstatement request was denied in March of 2016. He was reinstated in July and able to participate in training camp, but was suspended from the first uh, from the first four games. Then, just one week away from being fully reinstated in September, Gordon left the Browns to enter an inpatient rehabilitation facility. And according to him, he said, this was the right decision for me and one that I hope will enable me to gain full control of my life and continue on the path to reach my full potential as a person. Gordon said in a statement, this was in 2016. This is in 2016. 2017, 
After being denied reinstatement, once again, Gordon was conditionally reinstated in November, making him eligible for but make him eligible for the uh, week 13, week 13 of the NFL season. A week later, Gordon caught his first touchdown pass in four years in a loss to the Packers. In five games, Gordon had 18 receptions with 335 yards and one touchdown. 2018, Patriots give Gordon another chance. Gordon had missed 50, 43 of Cleveland's past 48 games due to suspensions, but expectations were high entering the season until training camp. He missed part of the Browns camp due to mental health issues and played in the Browns week one tie against their rival Pittsburgh Steelers. The team said a week later they'd be ending their relationship with Gordon for violating team trust, which lets me know that Gordon just didn't respect that coaching staff. And because he has always gotten a pass and gotten away and was able to get another chance and another chance and another chance, he did not learn anything. You see, sometimes you have to put people in a position where there's no out. You have that one decision that can change your life forever. But because he's talented, the Cleveland Browns did not cut bait with him. They didn't cut bait with him until they realized that he wasn't all in, that he didn't care to be there. He wasn't appreciative of the fact they kept him a part of that team. Now, I want y'all to understand this. Sports, you know, they use up a lot of these young men, okay, to where these guys can't perform at the level that they did before. And these teams will release them and never resign them. And then those players have to start a new life. A of these guys have to do that in their late 20s, early 30s, mid 30s. They have to basically learn a new routine, do something else. So if you are an athlete, especially when you are a young black athlete, okay, who valued your athletic ability more than your uh, education, you need to make the most of your opportunities. You have to get off that weed, man. You have to find a way okay to deal with their issues instead of self-medicating which gets you suspended you miss seasons you miss paychecks if that matters to you despite his past transgre uh, transgressions the Patriots known for giving second chance or fifth in Gordon's case uh, chances traded a fifth round pick in the, tw two ah, the 2019 uh, draft for Gordon and a 2019 seventh round pick. In 11 games with Tom Brady and the Patriots, Gordon had 40 receptions for 720 yards and three touchdowns. Gordon gave no timetable for his return to the team in Thursday's release, but the team is behind him saying we support Josh Gordon in his continued effort to focus on his health. He's attempted to do so in a private and personal matter, which is intended to respect i think the patriots wanted to help him robert Kraft, you know he's he's buddies with meek mill y'all heard meek mill shot him out in that song was free robert Kraft will help you especially if you are a patriot or you're somebody he's cool with outside of you know the nfl people are always willing to help talented people even if they've gotten a lot of chances josh gordon has gotten a lot of chances and I think he needs to be out of the league. I don't think he needs football. I think even though he had football, he was with a great organization, New England Patriots. He, it still wasn't enough. And also, he was dating this IG model by the name of Dylan Gonzalez, who thought it was a good idea to break up with him because she claims he was cheating on her. And she decided to make this thing public when she could have just kept it to herself. But that's what a lot of these IG models do. They want to make things public to embarrass you. And that's not good for a guy who's dealing with mental health issues. It's not. He brought her around the team. She was speaking in front of the team. And you know this guy has issues. And then you go and you make it public that you broke up with him because he cheating. He can't keep it in his pants. You don't think that has a negative effect on his mental when his teammates are probably making fun of him? He sees people in her comment section who are clowning him about it. 
So I, I want people to understand, man, like if you know a person has issues, you need to just step away from them and do it in a, in a manner that's not going to have him relapsing, not going to have him back on substances that's going to ruin his career. He could get a lifetime ban. He's been suspended for whole seasons. What do you think is ne next? And he was with the best, one of the best organizations in the NFL, an organization that wins and the players like being there for the most part. And that wasn't enough. So what is enough for Josh Gordon? I think Josh Gordon needs to step away from football. I think, I don't know if he has anxiety, you know, um, we all deal with things in, in different ways. I think football, I think he's always been good at football, but maybe he needs another challenge. I just don't think he needs football right now. And what's, what's really crazy is that he's only 27 years old. He's 27 years old. He's two years younger than me. If he's out of football, what is he going to do? He's not, I mean, I don't think he has his college degree. What is he going to go get a job in? What Does he have a business? I mean, he has a name. I'm pretty sure he can get endorsements. But who's going to want to endorse a guy who can't stay off the medica can't stay off the weed? I, would say, I was going to say medication, but can't stay off the weed and whatever else he's taking that is getting him, uh, you know, suspended for whole seasons. See, we as men, we have to eliminate the bad energy around us, especially if our mental is not at its best. Or well, if we have extreme anxiety issues, I think he has anxiety issues. I think he could be bipolar. But this is exactly why you have to put people around you who care about you. I don't think he has people around him who really care about him. The closest he probably had is with the Patriots. They didn't just turn on him. They didn't say, okay, this guy's a head case. Let's get rid of him. They are even saying, even though he's stepping away from the team, when they are in the thick of the playoffs, the playoffs is right around the corner. They said, okay, we're still going to support you leaving the team to get help. Instead of, you know, just throwing them to the wolves, you know? Even though sports has been known to kick players to the curb, and those players really don't have any safety net. They really don't have, a lot of these guys don't even have degrees. A lot of these guys leave college early for the NFL, get drafted in the sixth, seventh round. Some of these guys don't even get drafted at all. You know, you have to find passions in life that make you happy. I think football, for the most extent, I think it covered up a lot of the issues that he has. And now he's out of football again. And if he, if, it, Roger Goodell and the NFL could be harsh and just say, you know what, we're going to ban you. I don't think they've ever banned anybody. I think Ray Rice was silently banned. But as far as Josh Gordon, it's, it's a shame somebody as talented, you know, could fall this far. Even though if you look at the issues that he had at Baylor and how that situation ended, it was only a precursor to what you're seeing right now.